that's Coy Tower, perched high atop Telegraph Hill here in San Francisco. We're just about set for action. It's Saturday night and live on 2K Sports. We've got the excitement of the NBA for you tonight. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brent Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. And uh, how is the last shaping up, guys? Well, let's uh, take a moment here to check it out. Now that the midseason grind is well underway. We'll take a look at the Warriors. They're in the middle at fifth in the conference, looking to build in the wins as the season goes on. And well, for the Warriors, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they'd hope they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Now it's ended out to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David? Well, Aaron Gordon is progressing as a shooter. He said, what I've done is connected my three, my pull-up, and my free throw. They're all the same shot now. I'm going to keep trusting my skill, and eventually it'll all come together. With my motor, I feel like whatever I'm doing out there, I can just keep going and going. Kevin? Tremendous athleticism. Thanks, D.A. Halfway through the season here, Brent, how do coaching staffs shake things up and keep things fresh over the long 82-game season? I think coaches who are really smart, Kevin, can be a bit programmable where they're looking ahead at the schedule and saying there are blocks of games here in which we might try to change some of our defensive schemes, maybe over this 10-game stretch or 5-game stretch. Or to, gonna, to keep things fresh or oh, to... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because on, on you can only do it on the mental side. As much as we talk about guys getting rested and, and, and sitting out games for maintenance issues right. and load management and those kind of things, the tweaks that you can make on the floor in terms of a couple of new sets on offense or defensively, let's make this challenge for the next few months, will grow the foundation of what coaching staffs are capable of doing with that team as they go on. Now the starting group for Orlando. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. And it's Isaac in at the three spot. And for the Warriors, Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green down low with Looney. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward. And it's Fultz with the ball for Orlando. Count that one from Isaac. I really like the awareness from Fultz. It has an ability to know when one of his guys is wide open. Now here's Curry, guarded by Fultz, to the middle. Here's Green, gets it to go from eight feet. Those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Now, here's Fultz. Defense is right there. Another shot. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And Fultz isn't bashful inside. He feels at ease shooting in the paint. Curry kicks to Green from 13. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Hard to leave any NBA player that wide open from that distance. The Magic have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Pass to Vucevic. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And it's just never easy to get stops in this league, but... They had a smart game plan defensively, and I felt like that was the difference. Well, good defensive game plan and then carrying it out for 48 minutes. That really helped them out in that last game. Now, here's Fultz after the miss from Stephen Curry. Count it. Fultz has got his second bucket. And how about that pull-up jumper from Fultz? Loves shooting, went in rhythm, lets his offense come to him naturally. Now, here's Curry. He had 22 points in the win against Denver. It felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively, finishing up with four steals as an impressive feat. And you could tell, takes pride in that part of the game. 
Orlando leading by five. Fultz looking around. There's the pass to Gordon. Well, how about the reaction time on that pass? Quick. And what good work there to get in the way of it. Draymond Green using some speed, at least a little speed burst on that Two play shots. to get the Five. defense on its heels. Elbow. Two. Well, whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny that Draymond Green is one of the more unique players in the league. There really isn't anyone else like Draymond. I mean, who does everything for a team but score? I mean, not only can he play all positions on both ends of the floor, but also to be the emotional leader, truly a special player. The first one falls. A lot of talk surrounding Draymond Green between the coaches and the teammates is the fact that he's the emotional leader of this team. Now, sometimes that's in accord with what you do, and sometimes it keeps you a little off balance, but no doubt Draymond Green is the spark for this ball club. And so he hits both. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Takes the 13-footer. Second shot opportunity. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And really, the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Orlando shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. First one falls for him. Well, they say the post-up big man is dead and gone in the NBA, but don't tell that to Nikola Vucevic, an offensive focal point, and he does some of his best work on that low block. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And you look at the footwork of Vucevic inside, his moves uh, and counter moves, terrific. Shades of Kevin McHale. And that's something he's continued to develop in the pros, a response to defenders who often surpass him athletically. And their offense already in a flow, some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Higgins outside. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Outside Curry. Isaac with the steal. The finish. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. Take a look at Isaac there, just patrolling the passing lanes. Outstanding at knowing when to anticipate that pass. Curry passes to Green. Stolen by Gordon. And oh, here we go with Ross. Nobody back. Oh, my displaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive end yeah if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play one team played harder we know who that was here's Wiggins following the bucket by Orlando that's a no-go and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots here's Isaac five points in the game Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got seven points. Oh, great ball movement there. Up top, Curry. Guarded by Fultz. Here's Looney. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Wiggins passes to Looney. Five on the clock. It's Curry outside. The shot, no good. And Orlando will come the other way. Their last encounter was in Orlando. Yeah, but when you shoot a percentage in the low 30s as a team, and they did that in that game, it is just not going to be your night. Yeah, you check the stat sheet, and you can dominate just about every other facet of the game, but it's not going to make up for anything if you shoot the ball at such a low percentage. Timeout called the Warriors. 
In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And that one's good. Wiggins. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Now, here's Fultz, guarded by Kerr. 14 feet away. Fultz, no good. Warriors trail by 12. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Back to Thompson. Shoots over Isaac. And that one off the back of the rim and in. I don't think it matters too much with Clay being off balance that time as he's bumped, hand in his face, shot still goes. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Magic. And the rejection by Curry. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Looney down low. Lucevic on him. Gets it down to single digits. Steph out there singing a lullaby to the defense. Gets them to sleep and then sets up the teammate nicely. Magic leading by eight. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Marquise Chris, he's checked in for the Warriors. And a change for the Magic. Fournier is checked in. And so here's Orlando. Now Fultz is definitely not pleased how he played against the Clippers. Six on the shot clock to the inside. Vucevic and slam dunk by Vucevic. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart, the other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Wiggins drives in, and it's sent back by Isaac. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Fultz with the ball. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Vucevic with the bucket. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Thompson outside. Now here's Wiggins. 20 points for him last game against Denver. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Vucevic. Most every team now, Brent, looking to run when they can run. Who's the most lethal big man in transition? They can get baseline to baseline in a hurry and make a difference at the other end. Don't think I've seen any player do the type of things at his size oh, take a break. and take a with break. his stride than Giannis. I just, I just think there were eye-popping plays that people could not wrap their head around what it is he could do taking two steps from half court lengthening out his right arm to finish at the rim grabbing offensive rebounds from the block not taking any steps and dunking it over the top and getting to the free throw line Giannis running in transition as a big is is a problem for the defense and all that on the offense but on his defensive side he was always doing the same kind of things defensively blocking shots Walking out, whatever the case may be. Yep, causing, I mean, just the simple fact of being a deterrent, Kevin, the yeah. people coming into the lane and using that length. I mean, Giannis Atetokubo is something special in that regard. As both a ends of the floor, I totally agree. Now here is Augustine. 11 points for him in that last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. Fournier passes to Bamba. Tries again. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, you, you talk about physical gifts for the game. Mo Bamba, a seven-footer with the longest wingspan, seven, nine and a half, and that gives him a huge sphere of influence.
And a moment here to see the standings for the Eastern Conference. And you know, guys, some interesting stories have unfolded here as we move through the middle of the season. You take a look at the Magic. They're sixth right now in the conference with lots of time to make a move. And right now for the Magic, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. Well, the goal What's is that? very defined. They have to have a strong finish to the season and make sure they get home court advantage for at least the first few rounds of the playoffs. Right, you look at Bamba able to touch the rim while still on the ground, and <laughs> he gets off the ground pretty well, too. A good athlete still getting stronger and developing his feel for the game, but he has something you just can't What's teach. Up? Ken Burge has checked in for Orlando. That one misses for Wiggins. Orlando leading by 11. Pass to Bamba. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. And here's Augustine. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Passes it to Aminu. Now here's Bamba. That one goes. Count it. Bamba's got his second bucket of the night. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And a quick review looking at some numbers here for Wiggins. He's right around 17 points a night. Four rebounds and two assists. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up. And he's shot. really delivered. No good on that one. And here in the early going, missed free throws starting to become the storyline. Good on the second free throw. Marquise Chris has potential oozing from his fingertips. So exciting and so athletic at that four spot. Bamba trying to break free. Birch kicks to Augustine. And again, it's the magic from deep. Yeah, second chance points, a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. Bowman passes to Chris. Pass to Wiggins. And Bamba pulls it down. Orlando leading by 15. Aminu the pass to Fournier. Inside the pass to Birch. Tipped away. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And let's check out a breakdown. Looking at some stats for Gordon. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor. And it's made them a lot tougher on D. Bowman passes to Pascal. Augustine with it. Working on Chris. Augustine, that's good. Augustine's got five now. Well, if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Bowman passes to Chris. Orlando grabs the miss. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. And it's the Warriors with the ball after the Magic pick up two. The Warriors have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 from the foul line tonight. Let's 
Free throw good. Wiggins. One twenty-one left here in the first quarter. Poole the pass to Wiggins. Just five on the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And a miss there on the triple. Magic leading by 18. To the wing on the left. Augustine from outside. Keeps it alive. It's good on the putback. Birch has got his second basket of the night. And not hard to see why they're on the bad end of this run. Just not doing the job on that defensive backboard. Pass to Chris. Here's Pascal, covered by Bamba. Down low, it's tipped. From 10 feet out, off the left rim and out. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 17 to five run here. Augustine, that's good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Bowman, guarded by Augustine. Here's Chris. He kicks to Wiggins. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. So far in the game, he's gone two for four from the free throw line. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And both free throws good for Wiggins. 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Al Fournier. This one for three. And so it's the Orlando Magic sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back to the action after this word. So much talent on this Warriors team. Draymond Green talks about how it all meshes together. The way I judge, you know, whether we can play together or not is on the defensive end. I never really judge on the offensive end. It's about picking each other up on the defensive end and all being on the stream. You know, Greg, defense is Draymond's specialty, no question about it. Yeah, and it all starts on that end. The Warriors feel like if they take care of business at that end, the offense will take care of itself. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a very convincing performance from the Magic so far. Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. We've got Chris, and it's Bowman in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Bamba, and the dunk by Bamba. And, and how about the nine foot six standing reach Bamba has? I mean, it's unguardable this close. Dunks it with such ease. Passes to Poole. Now, Chris, who's guarded by Fournier. Six to shoot. Poole, no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Birch's shot's good. Birch has got six. The Warriors shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Here's Bowman, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. There's a lot of talk, Brent, about eliminating division, something that's been discussed. Do you ever think that's going to happen? I, I don't understand what the divisions are. Do you? Well, I mean, no. I, we don't pay attention to the divisions. We don't pay any attention to the divisions. It's all about conference. And we know that uh, divisions end up helping with, in some ways with uh, the playoff seedings, but it just seems strange today to have the divisions the way they are divided up. I think it helps when you're opening up a fish wrap in the morning if you check, <laughs> if you check a traditional newspaper. But otherwise, 
Uh, that could be something that, that goes away soon. Here's Ross. That's in Augustine with the assist. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Looney. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, for Nick Vucevic, there were some great firsts last season. His son, Philip was born in December. And then Dad made his first All-Star appearance. Nick is from a basketball family. He said, I'll enjoy telling my son the stories, like my dad did with me. We'll see if he likes the game of basketball. I think he will. Kevin? Well, D.A., it's certainly in his genes. Thanks for that report. The Warriors have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Ken Birch. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Magic. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And there's the call on Curry. That is his first foul of the game. Orlando making some changes. Isaacs checked in for Aminu. And it's Fultz in for Augustine. Golden State on D. Bamba finds Isaac. And here's Fultz. Back to Isaac. Get there, get there. Back to Fultz. Four on the clock. From deep. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Warriors trail by 21. Here's Poole. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got five assists in the game. Orlando's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's Fultz, and it's in there. Fultz has got six. And the quick feet of Fultz are a problem for the defense, especially when he takes it strong to the hole. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And Orlando making a change here. Vucevic has checked in. Ross dishes to Fultz. Back to Ross. Pass to Vucevic. And Looney sends it back. Here's Curry. Good on the bucket. Curry's got his first pass. Yeah, so uh, just a shooter? Yeah, I don't think so. Orlando leading by 19. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. To the paint. Kicks it out to Gordon. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And a moment here to highlight some of the best and brightest from beyond the strike. Clay Thompson is second. What a percentage that is for him from three-point range this season. His deep touch is about as good as you're going to see. Now here's Curry, guarded by Fultz. Thompson outside. Smile a geech, defended by Gordon. Right block shot, and the Warriors take on two more. Magic have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Inside, here's Vucevic, and he uses the glass on the layup. Vucevic has got 13. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. And there's the pass to Poole. 
Rebounded by Isaac. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming, Kevin. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Ross passes to Vucevic. Stolen. The dish now to Kerr. Count that one. And sometimes Steph has to challenge himself but throughout the course of the game. Sometimes it's with difficult shots like that. A passing grade, if you will. Orlando leading by 17. Fultz the pass to Isaac. Thompson against Ross. Over Thompson. Ross, that's good. Six points for him. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Poole. Nine points last game. Pass to Curry. Vucevic with the block. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. The Warriors making a switch here. Green's checked in. Tries a three off the inbound. And Curry the bucket on the assist by Green. Seven points for Steph Curry. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. The Magic have gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. And, you know, you see it every day, but it still doesn't make it any less impressive. The amount of skill that Steph Curry has on the floor, the shooting, the passing, the agility, he has it all. Here's Vucevic. 11 points for him in that last game against the Clippers. Passes it to Isaac. Shot clock at five. Here's Fultz. Gordon trying to break loose. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Here's Curry, and it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Vucevic. Thompson from long range. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. You could argue Curry is one of the most skilled players of all time. The shooting alone puts him in the conversation, and very few can match up to just that. Guys like LeBron and Wilt dominate with their size and athleticism, but Curry is an all-time great because of his once-in-a-lifetime skill. Fultz with the ball. He has six. Goes up to the stripe. Second chance shot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Aminu. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. And he makes the first. Then obviously some good players have taken less money for a chance at a winning championship situation. Uh, that's made some rich teams even better. Well, you, you have to appreciate a player in that regard thinking that the financial gains that he could have somewhere else and playing for a team that, that's not capable of doing what it is that you're trying to do, and that's win a championship, that they've decided... Look, it's not about that for me. What it is is about the experience of being around a team that elevates itself to being the best team in the league. And if you're fortunate enough at the highest level, Kevin, as a basketball player, to be around a championship, that experience sticks with you for a lifetime. So you do appreciate guys looking for those opportunities to be around a championship. Here's Poole. That shot misses. Gordon with the defensive effort. 
Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Trailing by 17. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And it's Gordon missing. Golden State's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Pass to Paschal. And who doesn't love stats? Here are some numbers for Curry. He's putting up about 28 points a game, seven assists and four rebounds. And guys, he can just explode for points anytime he steps on the court. Well, he looks to score, and he looks to score often. Orlando with the ball. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Hey, yo, right here. Now, here's Fultz. He's got six. Outside Fournier. Pick coming, pick coming, pick coming. It's stolen by Green. Releases. Curry shot is off. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. And the pass to Fultz. Offensive rebound. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. They get Stephen Curry. For Orlando, they have gone two of four at the free throw line. Orlando making some changes. Ken Burch has checked in for Gordon. Aminu comes in for Jonathan Isaac. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Fultz. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Bowman passes to Curry. Nice D from Fournier. Orlando leading by 19 points. Aminu, no one around him. And that one goes long. The Warriors shooting 34% from the field. That's not going to get it done. And stolen by Fournier. It's three on three on the fast break. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Fournier's got his first basket of the night. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full, hustling, and still working hard out there. Now, here's 23 points for him the last game against Denver. And he didn't take any plays off at the defensive end. I mean, he wound up with four steals on the night. And he gets it to go. I'm not sure he even knew how much time was left. Didn't affect him one bit. And here's Augustine. He's got eight. High arcing shot. Down to five on the shot clock. And Fournier kicks to Birch. That one misses. His first miss of the game after making his first three. Here's Curry. The shot's good. Curry's got 11 points. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Here's Augustine. 116 left to play here in the second quarter. Outside Fournier. The tray. And good. Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. Augustine's got three assists in the game. Bowman, guarded by Augustine. Curry passes to Pasco. Shoots over Vucevic, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Magic leading by 18. Augustine looking around. Pass to Birch. To the inside. Vucevic. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on the Golden State Warriors. The Magic shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And the first one drops. And love how he's getting himself to the line this quarter. If he keeps it up, 
it'll end up creating some foul problems on the other side, and that can always help a team's cause. Chris, he's checked in for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Steph Curry. And the Magic making a change here as well. Bombas checked in. Warriors trail by 20. 30 seconds left in the first half. Wiggins outside. And Wiggins throws it down. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Orlando's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. Passes it to Vucevic. For three, Fournier. Good on the triple. Fournier's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Magic. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's hit two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. And so it's Orlando with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Aaron, you all have played at a high level so far. What has worked for you? We're just sticking to the game plan. You know, uh, our coaches really drew up something good for us. You know, they wrote it out, and we're sticking to it, and we're executing very well. Yeah, that's obvious the way you all have played. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, Ernie it. Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? Nikola Vucevic on fire in the first half. He had 18 points, 10 rebounds, and one assist. In their previous game, he had a performance he said he wanted to put behind him quickly, and so far he's doing just that with the nice first half he had here. What did you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Magic? They're just pulling down rebounds at will. Their aggressiveness has been dynamite, flying in from all angles. With rebounding, you assume that everything is amiss, and obviously they've taken that to heart. Shaq. How'd you think the Warriors were playing? Well, they got a ton of issues to work out. Allow way too high a percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense. No discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, Vucevic, guys, has been exceptional. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. Warriors trail by 21. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. And so in the game for the Magic, Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. And it's Isaac in at the three. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Now in his sixth season in the NBA, hard to believe Aaron Gordon is still just 24 years of age. Not much older than some rookies coming in. You wonder what his ceiling will be. Now here's Ross. Five to shoot. Here's Vucevic. Puts the fade away right on the money. Vucevic has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Magic. It's Curry with the drive, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. While we have a break, we can see which teams have made the most of their second chance opportunities over the last 10 games. Fifth on the list, the Magic. 
I mean, you love their aggressiveness, not settling for one shot offensively, but really running down those loose boards and, and converting for extra points. Now, here's Fultz. Over in the corner, Isaac. No good on the triple. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Thompson in the post. He's guarded by Ross. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Here's Fultz. He has six. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. The second chance effort. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Magic have shot 75% at the stripe, six of eight. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. And both free throws, good for Bucinich. Warriors have gone one of three since starting the second half. Now Curry. 11 points in the game. Pass to Wiggins. Vucevic with the block. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Fultz the pass to Vucevic. 11 feet away. A shot off that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum I don't know how you do it but you just can't give Steph any room from any distance now here's Fultz and it's Vucevic that time on the assist from Fultz Fultz has got three assists in the game timeout called the Warriors and they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. And with a moment, let's check out some stats for Thompson. A strong stretch of play the last 10 games putting up about 18 points per five assists and four rebounds and you look at the numbers he's been putting up fantastic scoring production from him yeah hard to ask for anything more at this point he's really stepped up and he's really delivered now here's curry he's got 14 wiggins surveying the floor rocket six the pass to looney it's over Vucevic. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got his third basket of the night right there. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Fultz with the ball. Six points for him. Here's Vucevic. No good. Good D by Thompson. It's Curry with the drive. That shot is in just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. Where hasn't he scored from? Inside, outside, in between game, driving to the hoop. Steph doing it all right here. Now here's Fultz. D right on him. With some arc, and the layup is up and in. Fultz has got eight points. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Now, here's Thompson. Eight points for him. Here's Wiggins. And that one is off. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Now, here's Fultz. Eight points for him. And here is Ross. From deep three-point range, and Nikola Vucevic is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Warriors making a switch here.
Warriors trail by 20. Here's Curry. He's got 16. Looney and two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. The Warriors have gone 9 of 13 from the line. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Fultz. Eight points for him. It's stolen by Curry. He gets that one. Curry's got 18 points in the game. Just so good around the rim. Steph Curry knowing when to try his luck from there, and he gets super creative with some of the spins that he puts on the ball around the rim. Magic leading by 16. Now Fultz. Missile blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. free throw good from Fultz and the explosiveness of Fultz really is incredible just he's effortless in terms of getting where he wants on the court here's Poole right side Curry here's Looney rebound by the Magic Gordon's got his fifth rebound right now in the game here's Ross Warriors with the rebound Curry attacking that one good for two. Steph with a great job there of just getting to the end one opportunity. The timing of his shot and knowing when the defense is coming at him to draw contact. And for Steph Curry, certainly one of the best to ever play. Iguodala said last season, uh, Brent, that he's already the second best point to ever play in pro basketball. Well, high praise from Andre Iguodala. And, and why wouldn't you talk about Steph that way? You tally up. MVPs and titles and his impact on the game and what he's done to change the the way the game is played the case for Steph Curry to be the top point guard ever is getting stronger and stronger every season the guy that he's going to have to knock off the top of that shelf I think for most everybody who's been basketball fans for a long time is one Magic Johnson now here's Fultz 11 points in the game pass to Ross now here's Vucevic, takes it from 10. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. And Curry has it in the corner. A three-pointer off the mark. Orlando leading by 16. For three, Gordon. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Wiggins has got his fifth rebound in this one. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. So far tonight, he's gone four of six at the line. First free throw is good. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show 
at the free throw line. Marquise Chris, he's checked in for Looney. Then for the Magic, Ken Birch has checked in for Bucevic. Fournier comes in for Terrence Ross. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Markel Fultz. And both free throws good for Wiggins. Orlando with the ball. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. That team is a little road weary right now. That is the sixth consecutive game away from home. Now here is Augustine. He's got 10. Just five to shoot. Goes back up. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for Gordon. And you could tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Bowman passes to Wiggins. Pass to Bowman. And it's blocked. Pass to Aminu. Back to Fournier. Down low. Here's Birch. Bamba trying to break free. Goes up again. Birch's shot's good. Birch has got eight. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Here's Aminu. Now the pass to Bamba. Now here is Augustine. Covered by Chris. It's tipped. They shoot again. Here's Poole. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Chris. Guarded by Augustine. Tries it from nine. And he comes up with the deuce. Chris has got his second best. Now that's a nice touch shown off by Marquise Chris. You want him to score a little bit more from there if you can. The Magic leading by 16. And Augustine kicks to Aminu. Back to Augustine. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, 5 for 10. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Passes it to Chris. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Marquise Chris getting more and more used to using his body on the inside and dealing with the contact. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for the Magic. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. The free throw drops for Augustine. Both free throws, good from Augustine. It felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. 
Wiggins outside. Pass to Poole. The shot, no good. Nice D from Fournier. Aminu against Wiggins. And Aminu kicks to Fournier. Now here is Augustine. He's tightly guarded. There's the triple. And Evan Fournier with a three. Fournier's got 11 points. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Wiggins. He's got 12. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got his sixth rebound on the night. The pass to Birch. Back to Aminu. Here's Birch, covered by Chris. Here's Augustine, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Bowman passes to Wiggins. We've got 155 left in the third. Shot clock at six. Drops in the tray. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. Yeah, defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking to fire from that distance. Now here is Augustine. He's got 18. Here's Fournier. A beautiful reverse layup. Fournier's got five points in the quarter. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Wiggins. It's hauled in by the Magic. Aminu's got his fourth rebound in this one. Knocks it loose. Wiggins drives in. Bucket is good. He's got 14. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Orlando leading by 20. 56 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Augustine with it. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. Golden State's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And Chris throws it down. Well, Marquise Chris and his agility help him get to those kind of positions. What a finish. Orlando's gone six of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Now here is Augustine, guarded closer. Fournier passes to Bamba. Back to Fournier, six on the shot clock. Pass to Aminu. To the middle. Here's Poole, got a hand on it. A great shot blocker from the combo forward, Aminu's length helping him there. With one on the clock. Can't get it to fall. And so it's Orlando with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. We come back right after this. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Wiggins is out there with Green, and it's Chris in at the center position. That's the Warriors' five. Now, here's Bamba. 
Chris with the rebound. It's Thompson off the drive. Yep, it counts. Thompson's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Warriors. What strength there shown by Clay Thompson on the drive, focusing through the tough contact. Magic leading by 16. Now, here's Fultz. Kicks to Fournier. Down to five on the shot clock. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. Then for the Magic, Aaron Gordon comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Terrence Ross is subbed in for Fournier. Lock at two. Here's Gordon. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And here's what the schedule for Orlando looks like. On Monday, they're off to Charlotte to face off with the Hornets. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And for their matchup with the Celtics, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. Wiggins drives in, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question he got bumped on that shot. And the first one at the line is good. Vucevic checked in for Orlando. And both free throws good for Wiggins. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Orlando Magic. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Passes it to Ross from outside the arc. That shot missing. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Wiggins outside. And Wiggins throws it down. I always got to keep your eyes up. Make sure you see open teammates. And Clay did it that time. And here's Fultz. Over in the corner, Isaac. The Magic again can't hit. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this one. Finally got themselves in the trenches. Momentum completely shifted now. We've got a tight one here in the final period. Now here's Fultz. Curry with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And it's Green with the jam. Well, Steph started that all with his defense. Fantastic at getting into the passing lane and coming up with a steal. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Fultz with the ball, picked up by Thompson. And they double up Gordon. He kicks it to Fultz. To the right side, Isaac. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Fultz has got four assists now tonight. And you just can't let Isaac get that much room to shoot it from deep. He's a very consistent three-point shooter with a fluid shooting form. Now here's Wiggins. Thompson in the corner. Six to shoot. Here's Looney. And the shot is long. Magic leading by 11. Ross with a wide open look. They get it back. A second chance effort. Vucevic. He can't get it to go. 
Warriors have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. The drive by Thompson. Count that one. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Now here's Fultz. He's covered by Thompson. Gordon kicks to Fultz. Wiggins with the rebound. Wiggins has got eight rebounds in this game. And no good. But close in that one, so he'll shoot two. Clay Thompson just never dwelling too long on a game where he might miss a couple shots or over the course of maybe a couple weeks when he's not in his best form. He turns it around pretty quickly, does Clay, and it's pretty impactful. free throw good from Thompson and for all time great shooters like Clay you need to have that confidence in your shot well I think Clay's confidence grows a lot too Kevin from the fact that he knows on a nightly basis that the ball is going to come his way it's one of the best aspects of the Golden State Warrior offense is that they share it so you're not going to go through a 10 game stretch where the opportunities to score aren't there Clay's going to see shot opportunities because of Steph's unselfishness. And because he's such a world-class shooter, he's going to work his way out of slumps pretty quickly, and then he's going to go on a tear. Now, here's Isaac. The Magic again can't hit. Thompson in the post. Guarded by Fultz. Missed it. He's now made 6 of 10 from the field. Pass to Ross. Back to Fultz. The pass to Ross. From past the arc. Second shot opportunity. And it's Vucevic missing. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now Fultz. Pass to Isaac. Passes it to Vucevic. Over Wiggins. Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got 26. Yeah, I love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean look. Now here's Thompson. On the wing, Wiggins. He's covered by Isaac. Here's Curry with the three. Offensive rebound. Looney. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Fultz. Gordon, the pass to Fultz. Pass to Ross. Lock at six. From deep. The Warriors pull it in. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Curry finds Thompson. Green left side. The shot. Thompson misses. And so it's Ross. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. So it's Orlando now, leading by five. 
Now here's Fultz. He's guarded closely. Kicks to Ross. Shot clock at five. And there's the pass to Vucevic. And the layup's good off the glass. Vucevic has got ten points here in the second half. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Pass to Wiggins. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Wiggins. Magic leading by five. Fultz with the ball. He kicks it to Ross. Passes to Vucevic. Five to shoot. And slam dunk by Vucevic. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Curry passes to Green. Wiggins outside. Back to Green. Over Gordon. That one's good. And the Magic lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Green. And he's coming up big here in the clutch. Orlando's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Fultz with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. The Warriors have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. A three-pointer. Wiggins. Orlando grabs the miss. Gordon's got rebound number seven for him tonight. No good from Ross. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Magic leading by three. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Nikola Vucevic. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I had a chance to find out what Steve Clifford talked about with his players. He told him, hey, guys, this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. Kevin, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Now, here's Fultz. Pass to Ross. No good that time. Great D that time from Green. Here's Curry. That falls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. And it's now only a one-point Orlando lead. Here are the Magic now. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Now here's Fultz. Now the pass to Gordon. Back to Fultz. Six on the shot clock. 
The Magic need to get a shot off here. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. Orlando gets it back. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Clearly a foul. That free throw good from Gordon. And Gordon drops them both. Yeah, not the guy that you want to put at the line in these moments. He's not missing these. Higgins outside. Back to Curry. It's stolen by Vucevic. It's two on one. Pulls up. He gets it in there. And the Magic lead by five. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Curry looking it over. Here's Wiggins. Here's Green. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Isaac with the ball. Now Green defending. How about the concentration on that? Isaac able to absorb the contact and still finish with a difficult shot. good from Isaac and the overall skill set that Isaac possesses really off the charts a, a big man who can run the floor but also with that wingspan can defend the rim now here's Curry to the paint it's stolen by Vucevic and here's Fultz the feed to Vucevic and slam dunk by Vucevic and Fultz is a solid distributor, good at finding ways to get his guys involved. Right side green to end the run. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Here's Fultz. Orlando getting another chance here. Now, here's Isaac, covered by Wiggins, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by nine. So he gets them both. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Curry. He dishes it to Thompson. Wiggins outside. Green kicks to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. The three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Man, didn't have a ton of room to get that shot off. That's the kind of shooter he is. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Isaac. Now Vucevic. Ross on the wing. Back to Vucevic. Five on the clock. They grab their own miss. He feeds it to Gordon. And so it's Orlando winning this one. 
a narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin, with Evan Fournier. Hey, Evan, does a win like tonight's against this kind of competition show you how far you've come as a team? Yeah, sure. You know, we obviously showing progress. But uh, we want to be a, a very good team. We are very ambitious. Nothing wrong with a little ambition, Evan. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.